Hello and welcome to the channel. If you haven't done so already, make sure to like and subscribe. I appreciate that so much. As you can see, we have on our favorite headset. Actually, you know what? It's kind of my favorite headset because I'm actually having trouble with my other headset. It's the um, the Xbox one. For some reason, the voice isn't coming out very clear on it. And there's nothing I can really do unless I plug it straight to a USB. Then it works properly. But it's supposed to be wireless. That's the whole point of the headset. So, we're using these lovely uh, DualSense 3D audio. So, we're going to be watching the PlayStation VR 2 announcement, which I have not seen yet. So, hopefully you haven't seen it either and not heard about the PlayStation VR 2. Huh? Yeah, you have. Yeah, you have. If you have internet, you know. You know. But anyway, let's go. Whoops, I forgot to turn on the sound. Oops. Whoops. Whoopsie daisies. PlayStation VR 2. And our next gen. I wish that they could have came up with a more unique name. It's just, instead of just adding a number next to it. Or it could have been like um PlayStation Sense VR. <laughs> I don't know, something different, unique, you know, instead of I don't know. Dual Sense or Sense VR or PlayStation Sense VR. I don't know. I don't know. Controllers will be called PlayStation VR 2 Sense Controllers. Ooh. That is such a unique name. Such a unique name. PlayStation VR 2 will bring together the power of technology with the creativity of developers. We've developed new sensory features, enhanced controls and tracking, and upgraded visual fidelity. For example, with eye tracking, you'll be able to interact more intuitively as your character while allowing for improved social expression. The headset also has feedback, so players will feel subtle, responsive vibrations that heighten the sensations of their in-game actions. That's one thing that I um, thought was missing from uh PlayStation 4 DualSense. I actually have a PlayStation 4 DualSense. I'm sorry, <laughs> DualSense. <laughs> I do have one of those. I do have a DualSense, but I'm saying um, I do have a PlayStation 4 VR, and that's a nice um, addition to it. And the fact that everything is, <laughs> I cannot wait to see what they have. To be honest, the most important thing is what it comes down to is price, and we all know you're gonna going to be bending over and taking it visually playstation vr2 will offer a best-in-class experience with 4k hdr foveated rendering and 110 degree field of view all of this is on top of the new playstation vr2 sense controllers which enable players to feel and interact with games in a much oh that's dope we no longer have those um <laughs> PlayStation VR. <laughs> you know what it looks like. The motion controllers. You know what it looks like. I don't have to tell you. You know. You can Google it. It looks like a penis. Much more visceral way. That We're looks also nice. excited to announce that one of the biggest exclusive franchises on PlayStation will be coming to PlayStation VR 2. Horizon Call of the Mountain from Guerrilla Games and Fire Sprite Games. Ooh. There. If you know me and you watch my content, you know that I'm super hyped about um, um, Horizon Forbidden West. And I cannot wait for that game. And the fact that they're bringing a VR version of the game, which is just absolutely lovely. And I definitely intend on purchasing a vr set um to go with my ps5 it can, if i can get a hold hold of it you know the playstation 5 was just a pain in the ass to get one jesus what's that tall neck doing it's headed towards tons grass it's headed towards us <coughs> And 
Climb today, up the mountain. I'd like to show you a new okay, so that's what it is. It's a little bit short. Um, it's a, this is the consolidated version of it. Um, and other things that I've read about it is it's just going to have everything is going to be hooked up to, you know, everything hooked up. I hope hopefully we won't need a bunch of cords, but they did say that you, all you need is just a USB-C and it's going to be connected straight to the PlayStation 5 with one cord, which is going to be amazing. Hopefully it's a super long cord so I don't have to. Um, yeah, would have been nice if it was wireless, but it is what it is. I'm still going to try to get my hands on one if it's possible if not it is what it is you know hopefully down the road i'll be able to get it um because i really do want to play that call of the of the uh call of the mountain horizon because i love that game i love the story so can't wait anyway let me know what you think about this video if you enjoyed go ahead and give it a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already and 